Physical Geography, Wikipedia Article Audio Physical geography is one of the two major subfields of geography. Physical geography is that branch of natural science which deals with the study of processes and patterns in the natural environment like the atmosphere, hydrosphere, biosphere, and geosphere, as opposed to the cultural or built environment, the domain of human geography. Subbranches Physical geography can be divided into several subfields, as follows. Physical geography and earth science journals communicate and document the results of research carried out in universities and various other research institutions. Most journals cover a specific field and publish the research within that field, however unlike human geographers, physical geographers tend to publish in interdisciplinary journals rather than predominantly geography journal. The research is normally expressed in the form of a scientific paper. Additionally, textbooks, books, and magazines on geography communicate research to lay people, although these tend to focus on environmental issues or cultural dilemmas. Examples of journals that publish articles from physical geographers are Journals and Literature from the birth of geography as a science during the Greek classical period and until the late 19th century with the birth of anthropogeography, geography was almost exclusively a natural science, the study of location and descriptive gazetteer of all places of the known world. Several works among the best known during this long period could be cited as an example, from Strabo, Eratosthenes, or Dionysio Periegetes in the ancient age to the Alexander von Humboldt in the 19th century, in which geography is regarded as a physical and natural science, of course, through the work Summit a Geographia of Martin Fernandez de Enciso from the early 16th century which indicated for the first time the New World. Historical Evolution of the Discipline During the 18th and 19th centuries, a controversy exported from geology, between supporters of James Hutton and Georges Cuvier strongly influenced the field of geography, because geography at this time was a natural science since human geography or anthropogeography had just developed as a discipline in the late 19th century. Notable Physical Geographers Two historical events during the 19th century had a great effect in the further development of physical geography. The first was the European colonial expansion in Asia, Africa, Australia, and even America in search of raw materials required by industries during the Industrial Revolution. This fostered the creation of geography departments in the universities of the colonial powers and the birth and development of national geographical societies thus giving rise to the process identified by Horatio Kappel as the institutionalization of geography. One of the most prolific empires in this regard was Russia. In the mid-18th century many geographers were sent by the Russian Altamirazgo different opportunities to perform geographical surveys in the area of Arctic Siberia. Among these is who is considered the patriarch of Russian geography, Mikhail Lomonosov who in the mid-1750s began working in the Department of Geography, Academy of Sciences to conduct research in Siberia, their contributions are notable in this regard, shows the soil organic origin, develops a comprehensive law on the movement of the ice that still governs the basics, thereby founding a new branch of geography, glaciology. In 1755 his initiative was founded Moscow University where he promotes the study of geography and the training of geographers. In 1758 he was appointed director of the Department of Geography, Academy of Sciences, 
a post from which would develop a working methodology for geographical survey guided by the most important long expeditions and geographical studies in Russia. Thus followed the line of Lomonosov and the contributions of the Russian school became more frequent through his disciples, and in the 19th century we have great geographers as Vasily Dekusheyev who performed works of great importance as a principle of comprehensive analysis of the territory and Russian Chernozem latter being the most important where introduces the geographical concept of soil, as distinct from a simple geological strata, and thus founding a new geographic area of study, pedology. Climatology also receive a strong boost from the Russian school by Oladimir Koppen whose main contribution, climate classification, is still valid today. However, this great geographer also contributed to the paleogeography through his work The Climates of the Geological Past which is considered the father of paleoclimatology. Russian geographers who made great contributions to the discipline in this period were, N. M. Sibertsev, Pyotr C. Mayanov, K. D. Glinka, Neustrayev, among others. The second important process is the theory of evolution by Darwin in mid-century which meant an important impetus in the development of biogeography. Another major event in the late 19th and early 20th centuries will give a major boost to development of geography and will take place in the United States. It is the work of the famous geographer William Morris Davis who not only made important contributions to the establishment of discipline in his country, but revolutionized the field to develop geographical cycle theory which he proposed as a paradigm for geography in general although in actually served as a paradigm for physical geography. His theory explained that mountains and other landforms are shaped by the influence of a number of factors that are manifested in the geographical cycle. He explained that the cycle begins with the lifting of the relief by geological processes. Geographical factors such as rivers and runoff begins to create the V-shaped valleys between the mountains. During this first stage, the terrain is steeper and more irregular. Over time, the currents can carve wider valleys and then start to wind, towering hills only. Finally, everything comes to what is a plain flat plain at the lowest elevation possible. This plain was called by Davis Peneplain meaning almost plain then the rejuvenation occurs and there is another mountain lift and the cycle continues. Although Davis's theory is not entirely accurate, it was absolutely revolutionary and unique in its time and helped to modernize and create geography subfield of geomorphology. Its implications prompted a myriad of research in various branches of physical geography. In the case of the paleogeography this theory provided a model for understanding the evolution of the landscape. For hydrology, glaciology, and climatology as a boost investigated as studying geographic factors shape the landscape and affect the cycle. The bulk of the work of William Morris Davis led to the development of a new branch of physical geography, geomorphology whose contents until then did not differ from the rest of geography. Shortly after this branch would present a major development. Some of his disciples made significant contributions to various branches of physical geography such as Curtis Marbot and his invaluable legacy for pedology, Mark Jefferson, Isaiah Bowman, among others. The Compilation of Edry Sy Marks an Era in the History of Science Not only is its historical information most interesting and valuable, but its descriptions of many parts of the earth are still authoritative. For three centuries geographers copied his maps without alteration. The relative position of the lakes which form the Nile, as delineated in his work, does not differ greatly from that established by Baker and Stanley more than 700 years afterwards, and their number is the same. 
Geomorphology is the field concerned with understanding the surface of the Earth and the processes by which it is shaped, both at the present as well as in the past. Geomorphology as a field has several subfields that deal with the specific landforms of various environments e.g. desert geomorphology and fluvial geomorphology, however, these subfields are united by the core processes which cause them, mainly tectonic or climatic processes. Geomorphology seeks to understand landform history and dynamics and predict future changes through a combination of field observation, physical experiment, and numerical modeling. Early studies in geomorphology are the foundation for pedology, one of two main branches of soil science.